Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Joni Young. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm really excited to teach you how to paint this winter landscape. This is step-by-step -step for everybody, all levels of painters. So you watching right now, you can definitely paint along. So let's go ahead and get started. Beginning with a canvas, this is a 12 by 16 double primed canvas. It was white before I painted over just using some black uh, acrylic paint. It took about two coats and it's all dry now. So this makes for a wonderful underpainting. It just makes everything have so much more depth and I love it. It's so exciting painting on a black canvas. I've got a whole bunch of tutorials on black canvases. So just have a look through my uh, channel and you'll find uh, lots of different ones to choose from. The colors we're using today are titanium white, light blue violet, turquoise aqua green, burnt sienna, Mars black, neon orange, and neon yellow. I'll have a full list of all these colors I'm using below the just or below this video in the description box. You might want to um, click that little arrow down there and it'll take you there. And you can see other um, links to Patreon, Facebook, our group where you can um, join and share your versions that you've painted from my tutorials. We all love to see each other's paintings. Super excited to see yours and uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started with this painting now. So what I want to do is create a really soft pastel um, type of landscape and atmosphere. So I've chosen some really pretty colors here today. And now we're going to create a little bit more depth with our black and our burnt sienna. So the first brush I'm going to be using is my number 30 filbert brush. I'm going to get it just a little bit wet. And I'm going to take my yellow first. And I'm just going to start adding it on top of that black canvas. Take just a little bit more water. Then I'm going to take some of my orange. The rest of my yellow. The rest of my orange. And you can't really see it right now against that black canvas, can you? But just wait. Once we add a little bit of white, you'll be able to see it. I'm adding more water just to release and blend out the rest of that paint. Now I'm going to take white and I'm going to go right in the middle and I'm going to start creating crisscross brush strokes. To create a really soft background. Okay, the next color I'm going to take is my aqua green. So it's just a green, minty green turquoise. I'm going to start by applying it around the sides of the canvas, slowly working my way in to the yellow and the orange, that pretty peachy center. A lot of you have been asking how I finish the sides of my painting. So while I'm doing this, I'll just quickly let you know that I like to use black for painting the edges and the sides around my canvas, unless a customer of mine requests a certain color. Um, but most of the time it's black. Sometimes I like to use some gold leaf or my uh, 18 karat gold pen. And if it's a really thick uh, canvas in depth, then I sometimes take the landscape and paint and continue that landscape around the sides, which is really, really pretty. Because no matter where you're looking at the painting from, you can see the art on all sides. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more and apply another layer here. Then we're gonna come in with our blue. So without washing my brush, I'm just gonna Pull right into that blue. Come down here, isn't that pretty? The colors together. Now most of these colors I'm using are by Liquitex Basics. And my neon colors are by Holbein. You don't have to have neon colors to paint this though. You can just use regular yellow or peach and mix it with a little bit of white. I'm going to rinse my brush out now. Okay. 
And I'm going to turn my brush with a handle right side up like this. And I'm going to start to wiggle, sliding my brush around, blending off some of that paint and just moving it around, making it wider and wider. Then I'm going to turn my brush around and soften around the sides. I'm going to do that once more, rinsing my brush out again. Start a little bit faster. And then I'll just pull from either side and across the bottom. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to be using my number nine filbert brush. Anything a little smaller or bigger will work just fine as well. I'm just going to get my brush a little bit wet and then I'm going to take a little bit more white and orange. A little bit of that neon orange goes a long way. And I'm going to start right in this, this area here and I'm going to apply the paint and then turn my brush around and around creating some soft circles so we can develop more of a bright glowing sun here and then pick up once again a little bit more white less orange this time and then just soften taking my brush pulling it around And then once again, creating rings around and around and around, making it bigger and bigger. Okay, the next thing I want to do is start coming in with some trees. So I'm going to be using my number five round brush. And I'm going to get my brush a little bit wet and I'm going to take burnt sienna black and a little bit of blue. You want to make sure that you're using a little bit more water with this step because it's going to really help you be able to pull and blend that paint out of your brush and across the canvas. So I'll just pick up a little bit more water again, twirl it around on my brush to load it and have a little dab of it on the very tip of my brush. And then I'm going to come in and start adding some trees. I think I'll start one right about here. I'm going to start from the base, pull, 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 and then start to let off. So push a little bit harder for the tree trunk, and then it's gradually going to get thinner and thinner. And then you can just pull some small branches. using less pressure and more of just the tip of your brush. So I'm gonna pull this down a little bit lower. Okay, and I'll add another one maybe right up here. And it's okay if they overlap a little bit, don't worry about that. I'm 
remember less pressure and just using the very tip of your brush like this to create those smaller branches that are going to be a lot more delicate looking. And go into a little bit more blue. And start adding this to the side of the tree and the branches. And I'm going to add it mostly to the right side of the tree where the light would be hitting most of it. And then I'm going to go a little bit heavier in pressure and paint towards the base of the tree so it looks more like snow and maybe just the bark on the tree itself. I'm going to go over to the other side, mix up those colors again, and if you're just tuning in, it's light blue violet, burnt sienna, black, and some paint. Let's add one right back here, apply a little bit more pressure towards the base. And then one over here. If you happen to pick up some wet paint on your canvas, that's okay. Sometimes it makes for some nice mid-tones. So mid-tones are just in between your darkest shadows and your highlights. It helps to create more of a 3D look to what you're painting. I'm going to go back over to my white, a little bit of blue, and just gently catch the side of the tree and branches. I'm going to add a little bit more, a little bit more blue this time. Water. This is going to help thin the paint and help these trees look a little bit more in the distance and farther away. I'll just add a little bit of a scumble with what's left on my brush here. Okay, I've rinsed that brush out and now I'm going to go over to one of my mop brushes. And I'm going to use one of my favorite types of mop brushes. This is a one inch oval mop. It's important to know when you're using these for this technique to not put it in water first. You don't want to pick up any water. We're going to take a dry brush straight to paint 
and I'm going to be using uh, a little bit of blue to start, maybe a little bit of that green. It's kind of the same color as the background, but we need a little bit of a base here before we add our um, white. And I've got a little bit of burnt sienna I'm picking up here and black from the tree trunk and um, the branches. That will help give us a little bit of depth in our trees too. Just little bits of shadows here and there. Now I didn't purposely pick any of that up. I just know that it's going to happen if I'm applying this over wet paint, right? Our tree trunk and branches are still wet. So the next color I'm going to be using, and I'm not washing my brush out, I'm going to go right into my white tap 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 to load and I'm gonna just start adding just a little bit of snow or frost on these trees reapply I'll add a little bit back here on those ones that are farther away and down at the base of whatever this is. I'm not sure what it is yet. <laughs> and I'll continue along here. So just applying it partially over the blue and turquoise space. So just a little something like that. And then I'm gonna rinse this brush out. And I'm going to use my filter brush again, but I'm going to turn it like this. This is my number six, and I'm just going to load it by tapping the bottom. Maybe I'll pick up a little bit of blue in there, white and blue. And then I'm just going to very lightly graze down, barely touching those trees, just to add a little bit of snow down at the bottom and up the edge of the tree trunk. You can bring it up as, as high as you want or just keep it at the base, it's up to you. I'm going to take some of my black and I'm just going to start with the tip of my brush just a little bit, bring this up a little bit so it's further away. Bring this out, pulling lines side to side, one under another. So now we've got Maybe a path or a river or creek flowing from way back there. Coming down over here. And I'm going to rinse my brush out. And 
And I'm gonna go back and for a little bit of orange and white. And I'm just gonna pull and drop like this. Just to add some highlights and reflections. Just to show the colors in the sky below as well. So I'll just take a little bit more of my white and orange. And I'm just going to start tapping a little bit back here. And start to add a little bit on the side. And I'm going to build this up. So even though it's a winter picture, it's not always about cold, cool colors. When you've got a sunset or a sunrise, those colors are gonna reflect below on the ground, the snow, the trees. And some rocks in the water, so we can just add a rock covered in snow, half circles, they don't have to be perfect, and then have a few that are a little bit closer together. So then for these areas here, where that peach is meeting trees and this minty area over here, we can just sort of blend that out. I especially love what's going on here with this peach and that blue violet. Those colors together are really pretty. A little bit more and I'm gonna pull and gently flick up now those could be some at this point they could be waterfalls they could be trees they could be some type of sun ray easy to create sun rays. Just with a little bit of water on your brush and for these ones I'm just using the peach color that I made with white and my neon orange. And then I'm gonna add a little bit in the water. Some little squiggles so we can create a little bit of movement. And then if you need to, apply another layer. Sometimes the first one disappears, especially if you have maybe a little bit too much water on your brush or perhaps not enough paint. And 
I'm going to make a little bit more of that peach color. And add some there. And then I'll take my black and I'm just going to go right underneath and make it flat. That way they really look like they're halfway in the water. I'm going to take my turquoise without washing my brush off and I'm going to go over part of them bringing in some cool shadows a little bit of blue you can even tap it on if you want to look a little bit more icy And then you could also, um, let's just soften that a little bit. I'll take a little bit of that off. And then you can pull down and add a reflection in the water. So pull and drop. I'm going to go back over to my black and my burnt sienna and I'm going to bring back a little bit more of a shadow here on just a little bit here on the left side of this one and the right side of this one over here. Add a little bit of that in the water as well and a little bit more turquoise. I want the water to feel dark, but kind of icy at the same time. So just pulling a few little wiggles and lines. Within the black will really help develop that. Okay, just a slide, create some curvy lines. So I think what I want to do is continue with some more snow around this side here. And I'm just going to take some white and some blue and a little bit of green. And I'm going to come in from here. And add a little bit of height and then right down here so we've got three big snow covered rocks and then maybe we'll just put one right here as well probably just hop over those And then one more overlapping right there. I think it would be kind of fun to paint a snowman. Just these shapes here kind of giving me that idea of wanting to paint a snowman. So I'm going to continue using this brush 
and I'm going to take my blue, a little bit of white, and I think I'll let this one, this can be the base, and then take a little bit more, and then add the next part of our snowman, and then his head. So three circles, well two circles and then one half circle <laughs> right down here. I'm going to just add a little reflection or maybe a little bit of snow right down here. I'm going to use uh, number three round brush. And I'll start with his arms. So I'm going to take a little bit of blue burnt sienna and a little bit of black along with some water in my brush. And I'll add a little line here and a little, well, they're kind of little arches. And then go up. Up and just add a few little twiggy fingers same as that side then we'll take a little bit of um, blue and white and add some snow rinse my brush out and go back to the black and the brown and I'll add two buttons there and I think we'll just leave it with two buttons I'm going to take a little bit of black and brown again and I'll paint his scarf this color first. So we're going to go around and almost make like a bow, the beginning stages of a bow, okay? Just a little bow like that, or a bow tie, and then we're going to wiggle, 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 and then pull some looser tassel threads down there at the at the bottom and we'll add the other one here wiggle wiggle and I'll take mm, a little bit of white I'll add a little highlight on his scarf Okay, so now we can paint his face and we'll take a little bit of black for his eyes, just little dabs, and then we'll do some little dabs for a smile. And then we're going to take our orange with a little bit of white. And on an angle, pull out a carrot nose. Just a skinny triangle on an angle. Okay, then I'm going to add a little bit of white to the top. That'll give me maybe a little bit of snow and highlight. 
could add a little bit more orange to his scarf too. Well, I added just a little bit of white that was tinted with that to make sort of a peach color. And we can add just a little bit of white as well to the buttons. Could look like there's some snow there. I'll just add a little bit of snow here and there. He's a snowman made of snow, but we're adding more snow. <laughs> um, but it's brighter. So just a little bit of white inside this. And a little bit in here. And we can also add a, like a tapping like this too, that can help um, make it look a little bit more textured. And we can add <laughs> no, it looks like he has teeth. I think I'm going to go back and add a little bit more black here. And now we can add his hat. I'll be using brown and black. And I'm going to go across the top. A line across the top. And then on a slant, slant on the top, that will make one go up higher, and this one down a little bit lower. And paint it all in. And I'm going to take a little bit of blue and a little bit of white. And I'm going to add some snow on the front of his hat like that. And a little bit more blue. And I'm going to apply little lines like this to make his hat look a little shiny and frosty. Frosty. <laughs> We're painting frosty this one, aren't we? And a little bit of snow on the top of his hat. You can add as much snow um, as you want. So maybe I'll have a little bit more right in here. I think I'm going to have him holding a little lantern. So I'm going to start with clean brush. Still using my number three round. I had to check because I do have a number five, so I wanted to make sure. So neon orange and white. And I'm going to add a little, I started it as a circle, I'll make it a little square. And then I'm going to add a little bit of that down here as well. Reflecting in the water and on the snow on the rocks. And then I'm gonna go into my black. At the top, that's gonna be wider and then this one's going to be a little bit narrower so this one's going to come out farther and then we're going to join them on the side and then just have a little 
to have it here, here, and here for the, the bottom. And then just a little line there and a little line there so they come in. I think I'd like to have another snowman right here. Looks like he's got his hand out towards another one. I'm just, that's what I'm seeing, so that's what I'm going to go with. But you guys can uh, definitely, you know, paint whatever you want. But this is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to start with my blue with a little bit of white. I've got my size 2 filbert brush. And I've got a base here already. I'm just going to bring it up a little bit higher. And then I'll start my next one. And then I'll have a head right there. So this is going to be a smaller one. Maybe it's his snow sun. <laughs> and then I'm going to take a little bit more of the white. Just kind of dab, 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 dab. I'm going to add another snow covered stone right there. over to my number three round brush. I'm going to take my black and my brown and add a little stick arm out there. And this one goes off the canvas so we can't see it. I'll add two more buttons. Add a little line shadow under his nose there. And then a smile and a little hat. I'm going to add it on a slant this way. And we'll add a scarf. I'm picking up the orange, even though I've got, there's a bit of orange and white, or that light peach color, with my black and my brown. I'm just going to scoop around. And wiggle in a little scarf there. I'll add a little bit of snow. A little white and blue. On his hat as well. And, or hers, arms. Then, carrot nose. Orange and a little bit of white. And add a little bit more of this orange to the scarf over here. And I think I'll add just a little bit of snow, my blue and white, to the top of this lantern as well. And just a little dab of white on the eyes, the buttons. I add a little bit more white on this bottom portion of the snowman. 
all helps to make them look 3D, leaving the rest the bluish shade. You know, and I'm thinking maybe they're wanting to cross over to this side. How about we add a little bridge right there? I think we're going to do that. I'm going to take my number 14 filbert brush, a little bit of water, black, and some brown to start right here, up and over. So we're gonna have to go over part of our river or creek here and part of the snow-covered rocks. This is turning into such a fun painting. I always tell, I always say it, I always tell you guys my most favorite paintings are the ones that I just make up on the spot with you guys. I'm going to add just a little highlight underneath and I'm going to use my white and peach for that. And I'm going to go right at the base here and add a little bit of that. And then some white and blue peach over the top. a little bit higher so something else that we can do is make it look like it's an old stone bridge and I for that I'll just take a little bit of blue and brown to make sort of a taupey gray color. And I'll just add little dabs. Kind of staggering them. Maybe a little bit of white in there. You don't want to make them look like circles. Just think of old stones in a building or a wall. And very uneven. And then I'll just take a little bit of white. A little white, a little bit of blue. And again, it's mixed up with the brown and the black in my brush. And then we'll take the black 
and we'll just weave around, wiggle, wiggle, so it looks like the mortar in between the stones. A little bit in the water. Okay, I'll take a little bit of the turquoise, a little bit of white, and just from here, bring it up. So it's just catching the light, the inside part right there. Take just a little bit more of the mint or turquoise. It's very minty looking though. And add a little bit more. And then I'm going to add some snow on the top. A little bit of white, you can tint it with any of the colors. And it can look a little lumpy, like snow does. And add a little bit here at the base of the bridge as well. Just pick a few areas. And here to add another highlight and maybe a few more stones. Okay, then I'm going to go over to another mop brush. I've got a little angle mop brush here, but you can use any mop brush that you want. And I'm just going to add a little bit of blue and white. And just tap in a little bit off to the side here for some bushes. Okay. Tap in a little bit here too. Gonna set that tree in there a little bit more. Maybe there's a path along there. Then I'll soften over part of these branches. A little bit more blue and white. And just tap a little more in there. OK, 
Okay, and then the last thing I'll do is just add a little bit of snow falling. And I'm gonna take my round brush again, number three, with some blue and white. And I'm gonna start to just add little dabs here and there for my snowflakes. And then I'm gonna add little crisscross star effect. You can do a little cross like that, and then you can dab, 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 dab. And it'll make it look like we've got a few little snowflakes here in the foreground. And you can soften some of them. I just want it to look really natural, so some of them will look a little messy, like snow does. And like I said, some of them will have a few in detail like that, but it's like, it doesn't really take a lot of detail. Just tap, tap, tap. And I'll use just straight white here so that it shows up. bit more snow on their carrot noses. So a few little lines and then little dots on them. Can give you the look of snowflakes and you can make them as detailed as you want right and then i'm going to take my toothbrush just take an old toothbrush dab it in the color you want for your snow typically white, but you can tint. And you wanna use water and paint. Um, but yeah, you can tint your snow pastel colors if you want. I think it'll show up nicely just white on here though. And then I just turn it over and pull with my finger here. Okay, well, I really enjoyed this one. I hope you guys did too. Um, be sure to tag me in your posts if you're sharing your versions of my paintings. I always love to see them. And subscribe to my channel for more if you like. It's free, of course. And I'll see you guys all soon in my next video. Enjoy the season and take care. Bye, everyone.